Bloxham is about community. It's about belonging. It's being part of something bigger than just yourself. At Bloxham, we want to educate body, mind and soul. We want to stretch you academically, but also emotionally, physically, mentally uh, and socially. And it's about giving young people the toolkit that they will need for later in life. Because education is about preparing for the rest of your life, not just when you're 18 and get your A-level results. What would I change about the school? Um, I think it's more about what I don't want to change about the school. And I don't want to change the school's ethos, which is one that looks at the whole child um, and, and values the individual as part of a bigger community, um, that everybody matters and everybody is different, um, and that there is always someone looking out for your child. Oh, I don't know, I'm not sure what people think of me. Um, I'm in the privileged position of, of um, being in a school that is about 550 students, and therefore I tend to know every student in the school. I suspect if you ask different kids, they will think different things of me. Uh, hopefully positive, hopefully that I've got their best interests at heart. And do I care if they like me? Well, I think, I think everybody cares, uh, or everybody wants to be liked in some shape or form. Is that an overriding factor for me? Probably not. Uh, my job is to, to try and give them the very best education and sometimes that does make you unpopular. So what keeps me awake at night? Oh, I, I'm not sure. I sleep pretty soundly if I'm honest with you. Um, I think what would keep me awake at night is if I felt that we weren't doing the best job we could for either the children or providing the best learning environment uh, for the staff. Um, otherwise, I sleep pretty soundly. I think I've got lots of heroes. I'll tell you who inspires me about leadership. Um, it's a chap called Ernest Shackleton. Um, as many of you will know, I, I, I'm very much involved in uh, taking pupils on adventures, uh, whether that's climbing or whether that's going to the Alps or, or whatever. Um, I admire Ernest Shackleton because he went to a part of the world at a time when no one else went there. Um, and as many of you know, he tried to um, cross the South Pole he got stuck. Uh, his boat was in pack ice for, for three years. And he did a daring adventure and managed to get his crew rescued. And he never stopped looking after them. He wasn't necessarily the person that, that everybody on the crew liked, but everybody trusted him. And he did his very best to put others before himself. Um, so I think he's actually a really inspirational leader and um, it's also a really good story as well. I don't know if I've got a favorite book. There, there, there are lots of books which I enjoy. Um, I think one of my favorite books is a book called Learning to Breathe by Andy Cave. Uh, Andy Cave is, is a world famous climber, but he started out um, as a miner during uh, the, the, the coal strikes. And it talks about his transition to following his passion from really a life of oppression uh, to start off with and how climbing was his release. And what he managed to do from such humble backgrounds is, is, is a, a very impressive that if you put your mind to it and follow your passions, that you can really achieve anything in the sky's the limit. Um, I'm also reading at the minute a book um, about St. Columba and um, how he brought Christianity to, to mainland Britain, but he was so much more than that than finding communities on Iona. Um, he was also a kingmaker, he was a politician, and, and it's this, this idea that you can be more than one thing and you can have influence in so many spheres of life. Uh, so I, I'm finding that book very inspiring at the moment. <laughs> um, I don't really know. I think I think I always finish my assemblies with um, "Have a nice day." Um, that probably bores the pants off the students, if I'm honest with you.
difficult question, but I think my job is to create the best all round holistic school in the UK. And in, in some respects, when I leave, I'm hopefully not going to be missed because the values that, that we stand by at this school, the ethos by which we stand by, um, will be so ingrained or are so ingrained in each pupil and every member of staff that actually I hopefully can quietly slip out the door and the school will carry on. My favourite time in the school year. Uh, can I have two answers for this one, please? Um, the first one is the first Saturday in September when the whole school is playing school fixtures because I can wander around the school and see every child uh, is involved in some sort of sports fixture, which is fantastic, but it's so much more than that. It's, I have parents on the sideline. I have um, people who have only been at the school a week pull on a box and shirt and play as if they'd been at the school all their lives. And it's a sense that we all belong to the same cause and the same community. Um, that's quite special. And then the other one I really enjoy is, is Founders Tide, when we celebrate the achievements of the year at the school. And actually, it just makes me really proud. And sometimes in the day-to-day -day life of school, you don't realise how much your children and your staff are achieving. Um, but when you collate it all together, it really is mind-blowing and staggering what talented young people are, are at Bloxham. So I think those are my two favourite events. When I first arrived at the school, I got a number of letters and cards saying, you know, congratulations, welcome to Bloxham and so on and so forth. I also received a handwritten letter of a former headmaster called David Exon. And it was the usual platitudes of congratulations and I hope you enjoy the post. And then he just finished with, PS, try not to break it. And that was rather daunting and that stuck with me and he meant, Try not to break the importance that we have on relationships. Uh, try not to break the ethos of the school that we educate body, mind and soul. And I think that has stuck with me. So what, 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 what perhaps does that mean in reality? Well, I think I probably arrived thinking about how we could change this, how we could change that, how we can improve this, how we can improve that. And I think that was just a reminder for me that whatever you do in life, you need to listen first before acting and making sure that, that you know what has happened beforehand and listen to as many people as possible because their collective wisdom is probably infinitely greater than yours.